Hi, it's Baby Doll from Not Your Granny's Farm. We've had a busy week here on the farm, but the highlight of our week has been these barrels here behind me. We are in the process of raising catfish in a barrel. Yes, I said catfish in a barrel. So we are gonna raise about 100 pounds of catfish um, in these barrels here behind me. It is an experiment. So we're just having to go for what we know at this point. Um, I'm going to introduce you to my husband and he's going to tell you what we have set up here and uh, the process we're going to take to raise our catfish. So we get our fingerlings on Thursday. We're super excited about it and uh, we'll see what happens. Alright, so the idea here is to raise some catfish in these barrels. So we got three 55 gallon barrels here that we picked up at a local farm. Cut the tops off of them. We drilled a couple of holes in here. What we got here is some small pool pumps, smallest pool pumps you're going to get. Now these catfish that are coming, they're only going to be three to five inches longer, so we're going to start off with 50 catfish in each barrel. This barrel here is for the fresh water. We're going to have to change out about 15 gallons of water every day in each barrel. So that's 30 gallons of water, so we're going to put water in here every day and let it set 24 hours and chlorinate. So what I did here is I cut three holes in these barrels. We got a hole here and a hole here, and then we got one off to the side. I took some PVC and we made us, this is going to be the suction side. We drilled some holes in the bottom here, got a hole in here. I didn't want to drill no holes in the bottom of the barrel because I didn't want to take any chances on it leaking. So therefore, I run the PVC pipe up to the top for the suction side. This is set down in the bottom here. We'll stick it through this back side right here. And on the top side, of course, we got to get some oxygen in the water, and it's going to have to be aerated. So therefore, I made this for the top side, and we got plenty of holes drilled into it. The barrel's only going to be filled up to about 50 gallons got three holes here just in case it rains extremely hard that way the water won't overflow in the barrels and we'll run these through here straight across and out the back side that's going to be our return from the pump this one here is going to be the suction side just like that now the spigots on here, these spigots is for the wife, so that this dirty water that comes out of the barrel, of course you got to change the water out, it's going to get a little dirty from the feed and from the catfish. Well she's going to use this in the garden, which will be great fertilizer for the garden. And that's the idea behind catfish in the barrel. Don't know how it's going to go, but we're going to give it a shot. You keep up with us and we'll let you know. Well, we have our barrels filled to 50 gallons of water. Our pumps are prime. We are aerating the water. There's plenty of oxygen going into the water. And our filters are also filtering the water. So this is our setup. We do have our three barrels. We're gonna have the catfish on the end and our fresh water in the middle. I'll be draining the 15 gallons per barrel per day and that will feed my garden and uh, we're going to feed them worms which I am raising on our back porch so the red wigglers so there you have it in less than a week we will be raising more than a hundred pounds of catfish <laughs>